Many of our customers and all of you out there have been wondering and asking us about the recent changes in the FA knowledge tests. So here's a little advice. It's true. Goodbye PTS, the practical test standards, and hello ACS, Airman Certification Standards. This new ACS caused the FA to make some revisions to the way they test students on the written. Therefore, many changes are currently being made to the tests, and here are a few of them. First, let's talk about the good. They are removing many of the ADF questions, the NDB questions. Not all of them, but many will be gone. We ourselves have been bugging the FA for a while now on this topic. So questions such as the ones asking you for the relative bearing where you already have the magnetic bearing have been removed. I mean, if you already have the magnetic bearing to the station, why the heck would you want to know the relative bearing to it? Additionally, questions that have to do with tailwheel airplanes have been removed. These affect both the taxing questions, the ones with the quartering tailwind, and some aerodynamic questions involving tailwheel airplanes such as right turning tendency questions. Finally, the new questions are much more intelligent and scenario based. Now, they really test your knowledge rather than your test taking skills. Let's move on to the bad. First of all, these new questions are not being published by the FA, and everyone who claims they have all the latest questions, well, they're not really being truthful in their statement. Now, you either know the material, or passing the test can become quite a challenge. Teaching you all the material is exactly what our software does. We do not focus on question and answer, but rather teach you every topic inside and out, using our incredibly simple proprietary methods that if you have been watching our videos, you probably have become accustomed to. But let's move on to some more changes. So many pilots have become increasingly GPS dependent. Therefore, you will find that the FAA has added many new GPS questions. They have also eliminated the stupid questions such as how many GPS satellites constitute the GPS constellation. I mean, really, finally they realize that the number keeps changing as new satellites are added. Again, they have added many scenario based questions such as pros and cons of using a GPS. We cover it all on our software. They have also added many more chart and navigation type questions with updated charts. As a matter of fact, the whole supplement book has been changed and if you have been studying with a course that provides black and white figures, you are definitely studying obsolete questions and may encounter quite some difficulties when taking the actual test. The new supplement book is all in color and all the navigation charts have been updated to reflect actual latest VFR charts. By the way, if you need a copy of the supplement book, we added a link on our servers on the description below. Just save it to your desktop, print it out, or use it whenever you need. At the moment, these charts though have a major error on them, and this brings us to the ugly. The charts provided in the latest supplement book are not to scale and do not match the distances of any known aviation plotter. The FAA is aware of this problem and said they will be addressing it soon. Nobody, though, knows when these will be fixed and updated. So during the test, the best thing to do is to align the plotter to the chart scale and check whether the values match. If they do not, then the best thing to do to measure distances is to use one of the pieces of paper provided for the test and mark a dot or two on them and then align the paper with the scale to see the actual distance. For example, if the question asked, refer to figure 25, what is the distance between Tri-County Airport and Grove Hill Airport Area 3? And the answers are 5, 7 and 9 nautical miles. The first thing you should do is align your plotter with the scale. If the numbers match, then just slide the plotter over the two airports to find a total distance, in this case 7 nautical miles. If, however, the distances do not match, obviously the FAA has not updated them yet, then take a piece of paper and put one tip over the first airport, in this case Tri-County. Align the paper with your second airport as shown, in this case again Grove Hill, and place a mark on the paper at the Grove Hill point, again as shown. Now slide the paper over the scale, aligning either the dot or the other side of it with the zero mark of the nautical mile scale. Finally, read the distance between the two. Again. In this case, 7 nautical miles is the value you will find, which is 
the correct answer. The knowledge tests affected so far are only the private and instrument. The commercial will be tackled later on, probably next year. A commercial pilot already has close to 250 hours under his belt, and he's probably less likely to commit mistakes and is probably more knowledgeable. That's why the FAA will tackle that one later. The reason for all these changes is that the FAA is tired of seeing so many pilots out there who are very good sticks, but when it comes to knowledge, they lack in the areas that could have prevented many accidents. The old way of memorizing question and answer was bringing pilots nowhere and increasing these accidents. The FAA has finally realized this and decided to improve their testing methods, which should produce more knowledgeable and thus safer pilots. At Pilot Training Solutions, our main goal is to do just that. Sure, we focus on helping you ace the knowledge test, but that is just, let's say, a side effect of learning through our software and apps. We cover every topic in incredible detail. Even if it has no test questions, we still go over it. We tell you that there are no known questions on this subject, but also add that for the sake of being thorough, we will go over it anyway. So, you can choose to memorize question and answer, and besides putting yourself and the people who fly with you at risk, you may also end up failing the test and wasting a considerable amount of money. You will also have to answer yes to the always present question, have you ever failed an aviation test? Or you can learn the material inside and out, become a safer pilot, and be sure to ace your test, again, maybe as a side effect. We at Pilot Training Solutions guarantee you will love our software and also guarantee you will ace your tests. As a matter of fact, we're so confident you will that if you fail your test or believe our software did not make you a more knowledgeable and safer pilot, you can keep it and we will refund the purchase price to you. Visit PassFAExams.com, get a free demo and find out what makes us so different. And until next time, we at Pilot Training Solutions wish you all Happy flying and blue skies.